we have been enjoying the sounds of the ascent time to meet the guys who make up the band guys thanks so much for coming in thanks for having us you know uh, you guys are a relatively uh, new uh, new group but uh, uh, talk a little bit about how you all came together you've all been in uh, some other projects uh, in the past yeah that's true um, me and Wes have known each other for quite a while um, we played together a couple times when I was like 16 and um, we I don't know, that's how we first got to know each other. And then I kind of started my own um, solo project, and from then on... Broke up the band, but uh, you, you <laughs> always knew you'd get back together someday? Not exactly. Um, uh, I had been in a lot of different bands off and on, and, and I was, you know, kind of doing my thing while Clint was doing his thing. And, and uh, he, he did a solo album called uh, Better Late Than Never, and when he finished it, he brought over a copy for me to listen to, and I was blown away by it. I just, um, it was so original that uh, it, it made me really want to, to play with Clint, and, um, but then, you know, life gets in the way, and we kind of, uh, it was like almost three years from that time to when we actually finally did get together. And so uh, this is this, how long have you guys been uh, been playing together now? Um, just a few months since November is when we started. And uh, already you've uh, managed to uh, put enough songs together for for an EP. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, our first EP has six songs on it. Um, I I feel like it's really good. It's it's definitely um, it shows that we're we're still like finding our sound. Um, but we've had a, a good response on MySpace and Facebook um, from people that heard it. That's uh, that's right. What's it called? It's called The Ascent. Ah, well, that's uh, that's that, that's an easy uh, easy one uh, to remember. Now, you know, we were just talking with uh, Peter Shankman about you know the importance of social media and social networking. I have to say, you guys are one of the hardest working bands out there <laughs> in terms of getting your getting your names out. A lot of bands just like to. Put up a MySpace page and leave it at that. You, you, you Wes, talk about some of the the stuff that you guys are doing. Well, uh, we're we're on MySpace like everybody else, but we're, I think you have to be. I mean, yeah, MySpace may be yeah, you know it may have sort of faded in popularity, but it's still the best resource to uh, present music. It, so yeah, cool. it's great for that. And but in addition to that, we're also on Facebook. We're also on a site called Reverb Nation, which is one that we really like because. It has uh, lots of back-end tools for music, you know, for the bands to to find out who their audience is, and uh, they have charts and and things like that, so you can kind of see how you're doing. We're also on Twitter. We're also on one called Made Loud. Uh, Made Loud is one of the few sites that allow you to post music and charge for downloads without taking a huge chunk out of it for themselves. So we like Made Loud, and uh, uh, we're also on one called Chusick, which is kind of very similar to Made Loud. Um, and are you finding that it's bringing in more people, and more people are finding your your music and well, are, are responding? Yeah, like like he said in the interview, people uh, any way someone wants to find what they're looking for, you better be you know doing it that way, or they're not going to find you. So we're trying to put ourselves out everywhere we can. Um, for, for example, um, we had a booking agent contact us that um, has a couple of bands that are playing through Utah and playing through Salt Lake, and we're going to open for them. And they're bands from like California and New York. Um, and the only reason he found us is because of the social networking on MySpace, I think, is how he found us. But it's really cool because we haven't been a band for very long, but we've been able to have some pretty cool shows and get our name out there pretty quick. We actually had a blogger from North Dakota um, write a blog about us, and we all thought that was pretty <laughs> funny that some... You're some big in North Dakota. North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, but, yeah, to, but is that going to be something that maybe, you know, if you guys go out on tour, uh, you would you would sort of go where your audience is? You, yeah, know, you sort of yeah. know now in advance where where people are listening to you? The Reverb Nation that, that I was talking about, that's exactly the kind of tools that you have. You know your demographic. You know uh, what cities they live in. So you can really focus in on... Um, on your audience, and, and it's marvelous having all this technology available. 
to, to be able to find our audience. So not to, uh, you know, maybe create more competition, uh, but other bands, you know, if you're watching this show, get on it, uh, guys. You know, you can't, uh, you can't just uh, hope that the world is going to be out there and find you. You gotta, you gotta do a little work and uh, and push it and find uh, find the right people. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, you know, you you sent me uh, sent me a note and sent me another note and more notes and uh, <laughs> sent me more music and 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 finally I, I broke down and I'm really happy uh, you guys are you guys are here. So uh, any any chance uh, people are going to see you here in Utah playing playing live oh, somewhere soon? Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> where's your ne- where's the next gig? Um, the next one is on Saturday. Um, we'll be playing at New Song Underground. Uh, you had yeah. you mentioned you had Burn Orange on. Mm-hmm. We're we're going to be playing with them. We're also playing with uh, a good friend of mine, Philip Linford, who has a band uh, called It Is This Big, and this guy is a tremendous guitar player. It, this is a show not to miss. Okay, fantastic. And if people do want to follow you online, uh, just uh, search for The Ascent. The mm-hmm. Ascent. Um, we tried to make it easy. So myspace.com slash The Ascent, ReverbNation.com slash The Ascent. If you're on Twitter, we are The Ascent on Twitter. So The only hard part is it's spelled with two S's, not not like climbing. Yes. yes. It's to agree as opposed in, to to, yes. to climb. But it's it's perfect uh, double meaning for for a band from Utah. It's great, yeah. <laughs> All right. Guys, uh, we're going to hear one more song. What are we going to hear? Um, it's called Clarity. Okay, fantastic. This is The Ascent. We'll hear more from them in just a little bit, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 